You're gay. I'm not, but uh, <laughs> thank you, I, I guess. There's this like really weird trend going on, on TikTok at the moment where everyone kind of like responds to something according to these emojis. And obviously this one is if you were coming out as gay. You're gay. You're gay. No, I'm not. You're gay. <laughs> Just calm it down a little bit. You put quite a bit of passion into that one right there. No, I'm not. You're gay? No, I'm not. You're gay. You're gay? I don't really understand how something like this could even become like a trend. I felt like I just watched about 30 seconds of two girls just calling me gay. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, when you put it down like that, that's, that's literally kind of what the video is. It felt like they were just looking into a mirror and practicing calling someone gay. <laughs> That's literally all it looked like. This is real for some reason. Going to the store with marker flip-flops so I don't have to wear shoes. What? You lie! I don't lie. I protect and I feed and I teach. And all I ask of you is that you follow three simple rules. Three rules. And you know what? I mean, yeah, <laughs> that's just what everybody wants to do. They want to just go to a dirty ass supermarket and walk around barefooted. I love the part where she said at the store and didn't get caught. Like, what would you want anyone who works there to do? Walk up to you and be like, hey, can you put some shoes on? And if she just turns around and goes, well, I've got shoes on, you'd be like, no, you you've clearly, clearly drawn those on with some marker pen. Like, people in retail just do not get paid enough to deal with stupid people like this. <laughs> like this isn't even a flex, it is, it's just so stupid and weird. Jeez, people are still making Roblox ones like this? Where will you touch me? Where will you touch me? Don't be too sus. Wh why are people even still making this? It's honestly been quite a little while now since I've actually made a Roblox cringe. I think the videos just kept getting demonetized, but regardless, like, I, why, why would you even make this? Hey, how's it going guys? It's your boy King Simp Ben, and today we are looking at cringe, and I'm feeling good. I feel like I have my energy back in videos, which I honestly feel like I've lost for the past few months. The past few months, honestly, have just been an absolute blur. So we're back, and we're going to be looking at some cringe. That all being said, let's just get straight into the video. The fact that someone would even post this, where's the school? I mean, you can always tell that this is probably going to be one of those videos that is just going to come back and just be an absolute menace in their life in like five to ten years time. Oh my god, what is that? Oh my god, what is that? I am actually speechless. Kids, why are you so stupid? You are the ones who are living in the generation where nothing is forgotten about on the internet and you still post this absolute stupid spaghetti online. I'm all for jokes, I'm all for having a laugh, but you've got to understand that some things are just not a good idea to do. And this right here is exhibit A on what you should not do. The thing is, I can't even expect much from these two morons because they spelt building wrong. They spelt it as bilding. It, it's also just a really unfunny bad joke. Oh, ho, ho. Africans have to sit on a tree stump to go to school. Oh, hilarious. Someone actually sent this next video to me on Twitter. I, I don't know why. I just want to show you guys the type of DMs that I get or just overall mentions that I get on Twitter. If you're covered in hair, duet this video. Show it off. Why would why would any of you send that to me? Just some, just some dude in a bath asking to show me his hair. Or I show him my hair. I mean, you guys do make me laugh. Like, I see so many comments on my videos, and they do make me laugh. <laughs> God damn. You guys can be weird sometimes. The thing is, this is actually mad. I've actually only just read what, the, what it actually says in the video. It, would you rather bathe or shower with me? Stop sending me this just creepy videos. They're so weird. And the caption is, it's litty out here. A group of girls flashed me. If you unironically use litty in your everyday language, you, you are cringe. You are a walking L.
Oh my god, guys, th this dude, if this, if this was posted and he was generally being serious, my god. I mean, just what are the odds that while you're doing a little TikTok, a group of girls just decide to flash you? The reaction as well, honestly, is just absolutely priceless. If I was a girl and I ever flashed someone and they reacted like this, honestly, my nipples would just fall off. It's just... <laughs> Jesus, some of the some of the things I say, man. <laughs> just I'm I can be cringe sometimes. God damn. Wolfpack fighting for them as a single parent. I think I've seen this. I think I've seen this video before, and I can guarantee you it's uh it's pretty cringy. I honestly I don't think I could live in a family who subjected me to making TikToks like this. Up to them, it's only up to us. us. <laughs> no 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 no. I'm the <laughs> My favorite part is actually someone's comment which was on this post. A clip is missing the last 15 seconds where they where they all take a shit in the backyard. And for whatever reason, someone decided to award this comment with whatever the bloody star thing is, so now it's like a highlighted comment. <laughs> like, you think your family's bad? Imagine your mom coming into your room and being like, Hey kids, let's pretend we're a pack of dogs and just, just do this. All the weird kids are having, like, kids now, <laughs> so they're subjecting their kids to be weird. Like, if it was ever a problem, who would you call? Like, Child Protective Services or, like, an animal shelter? Andrew Tate is a gift to females. Andrew Tate, man, I have seen so much of this guy over the past few weeks on social media. It's crazy how much he's blowing up. I mean, some of the stuff he says, you can be a bit like, yeah, you know, I sort of know what you're talking about, but I, I just do not agree with his views on women. So let's just, let's just hear what he has to say. I understand that I am too brilliant a man, too perfect in every single metric, too big, too strong, too smart, I can fight too well, I'm caramel, I'm beautiful. It would be a shame for me to not service these females. I am a gift to females created by the one above. That's what I am. So what am I going to do? Stay at home and bang a six and save my money? No, I'm going to roll up, flexing, come through, bam, champagne, bang, yeah, supercar outside, yeah, yeah, okay, five star, boom, 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 first class. Cause I'm a cheat. I mean, he has to be trolling at this point. There is no way that there is actually someone like him out there who just believes all this stuff. Like, I find some of the stuff he says is quite funny, but <laughs> this, he just, he has to be trolling at this point. No one who considers themselves a top G would say anything like this. I can fight too well. I'm caramel. I'm beautiful. What do you guys actually think of Andrew Tate? Because like I said, some of the stuff he says, I'm like, you know, yeah, I, I kind of get what you're talking about. But then some of the other stuff he says is, is just is just so stupid. I just don't understand it. But what do you guys think about Andrew Tate? That is it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to smash like and subscribe as it really helps me out. YouTube's being a little bit weird lately with my channel, but we still out here grinding. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you all next time.